Hello, in this video we are going to talk briefly about how to approach the research of the Revolution Will Not Be Televised assignment. The Revolution Will Not Be Televised gives you an opportunity to sharpen your research skills and analyze the poem The Revolution Will Not Be Televised in its historical and cultural context. It requires diligent time to complete the research and you can do it. In this video, you are going to learn where to go for assignment parameters and for questions about the assignment, where to go to and how to go about completing your research for it, and how you can reach the ECC librarians for research help. Look in Professor Newman's syllabus for the poem itself as well as full instructions. For each written section, there are suggestions of how long each section should be. Please consider this as guidance, not absolute. While you want to aim for that number of paragraphs, you want to be more concerned with giving the full picture of each category that you are asked to write about. First, start with the poem and read it. Any time that you are researching and reading something you don't know, you need to ask yourself, what is it that I already know about this topic? What are keywords that would help me find out what I don't know from this poem. How would I describe this topic by keyword? Starting with what you know is a good strategy. You have the poem title and you can determine the poem author. Those will help you along with finding out the date, the time period of when the poem was published. Those are about the poem that you can search. That will give you some good information and will take you only so far as well. If you look over here, inside of the poem, you will encounter events, ideas, people, places, and other things to search. Those are of the poem or inside of the poem and will be valuable to you as well. What's out on the open internet, such as where you get to through Bing or Google, is just a fraction of what is actually on the internet. It's the top of the iceberg that you can see. There's going to be a lot more quality information that is locked behind paywalls on the internet and not automatically able to access. It's what we can't see here, but we know is beneath the waterline, which is more iceberg. Sometimes a paywall looks like get instant access to this article from Nature for only $32, but there is a better way. The better way is the library databases. These are huge collections of all kinds of articles from all kinds of journals that have been packaged into a large electronic bundle that's called a database. Through your search terms, you are able to find these articles, often full text, at no pay per item cost. All you need to do is get to the library databases and log in with your Access ECC username and password. There are a lot of articles. As you can see here, there are also other types of sources like ebooks or videos in some of the databases as well. You will want to get to the research guide for your class to find library databases and other information for the assignment. Go to Research Guides. They're organized by subject. Scroll down to Political Science and look for the course that you're in with Professor Newman. On your Research Guide, you are going to see a Revolution Will Not Be Televised tab. These are available on all of Professor Newman's Research Guides. The poem title and author are great starting keywords. However, you will have to expand your search into additional keywords and possibly broader keywords to get to the wider context you need to address in your paper. The time period and other large events or phenomenon happening at the same time as your poem can be very fruitful to your search. The encyclopedias under the search ebooks box are also great places to start. They get us started on the very basics of a topic or concept. And they also can help you get additional keywords for further research. 
One thing to know is that Professor Newman wants you to use specialized encyclopedias. These are encyclopedias based in specific disciplines or specific topics. If you see an academic discipline or a specific topic in the title of an encyclopedia, chances are very high it, that it is a specialized encyclopedia. You can combine keywords together in searching inside of the article databases with your original keywords, such as the poem title or poem author, as well as additional things you learn as you go along. It is also advised that you search multiple keywords with the word and between them to narrow your search. For instance, here is a search for Benjamin Franklin and the 18th century. Notice how the time period is also an appropriate search term that will bring back results for you. In addition to the encyclopedias, you can also search your terms in the online book catalog, ebook databases, and the article databases. The book sources and some of the article sources will go into much more detail on these topics than the encyclopedia articles will. There are also 43 individual references in the poem, such as names, titles, etc. You need to pick seven to incorporate into your paper. The research process for these individual references will pretty much be the same. Begin with Gale Virtual Reference Library or Credo Reference. These are encyclopedia databases. Get the gist, then venture into books and articles possibly with additional keywords for narrowing for more expansive information on that reference. Let's do a little bit of research practice. We're going to start on Google. There's nothing wrong with starting your research on Google. You just don't want to do all of your research on Google. One of the references in the poem is the red, black, and green liberation jumpsuit. Let's run this search and see what we get. We see some images here. We see some search results down here. This looks like an ebook or an article. Here's a site a result from a music website. Here's a man named Roy Wilkins. Sounds like he was an activist. And we see some results here that might help us, and sometimes it's also good to go a little bit more broadly. Let's take the jumpsuit out and see what we get with our results. And here we see that, okay, red, black, and green. Here's something from NPR. Here's something from a college site. Has to do with the Pan African flag. We had a black, red, and green flag that we saw on the other page in the image results. And this is the same thing. So let's start to use Wikipedia here. We get an overview of the Pan-African flag. We can learn about its history, its significance, and more. And the entry itself can give us valuable information to keep in our mind, as well as additional keywords as we scroll through it. This is very valuable. Another valuable and academically appropriate way to use Wikipedia is to use the endnotes that are at the bottom here. Some of these are academic sources that you can try to track down in some of our library databases. Because anyone can go and edit Wikipedia, you don't want to use it as its own source but you can use it, such as through the notes here, to find additional uh, academic sources, as well as use the keywords for searching that you find here. We can still search for information with our original reference from the poem, the black, red, and green liberation jumpsuit. And we also now have some more contextual keywords to research. Some of those keywords are, but not limited to, black nationalism, the Black Power Movement, the Pan-African Flag, the Black Liberation Flag, and Pan-Africanism.
using these alternative keywords in the library's databases are going to give us a lot more context and in-depth information for the poem, as well as offer us the chance to have access to scholarly resources that create the strongest research portfolio to you. Let's go to the article databases on the Revolution Will Not Be Televised page. In ProQuest, let's open that up. If you're off campus, you'll log in with your Access ECC username and password, and let's search Black Nationalism. This will allow us to find scholarly research about Black nationalism. We've got a lot of scholarly journals here that are either have the full text available or the PDF full text is right there inside of the database. And some of these are going to be very relevant to you probably and help you. Other ones of these may not be helpful in helping you analyze the poem. That is very normal with the research process. If you have questions while you work, you want to consider if you have a question about the assignment itself and writing your paper, or if you are looking for help with the research aspect. There are several ways you can get in touch with the reference librarians, and we can help you with finding research for your assignment. If you have questions about the assignment itself, how to put it all together, conceptual questions, you want to contact Professor Newman or Lindley, who is your tutor in the tutoring center. That is after you have seen if you can answer your question by looking for the poem in D2L and also looking at the assignment instructions in D2L. In this video, we have talked about how to complete your research for this assignment, as well as where you can go for different questions you might have about the assignment. Good luck.